Right, what's up, everybody? Grim Greenback here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. You know, I got uh, in the vlog not a few weeks ago. I got this pod from Airscream, and it's time to start our review for the Airscream Air Pops Pro. Pod names are just weird all the time, I guess. I am actually kind of looking forward to this. This comes from the UK, and based on the paraphernalia that they've sent me, it appears to be a coil head-based pod. So like the Caliburn G2, something like that. I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, what we're gonna do is jump down to the desk, set this up, it's a pod, so it should be pretty quick. I'll meet you back over here at a later date, though, to hand out some banana stickers. Let's get this Air Scream show on the road. Air Scream Air Pops Pro, yeah! <laughs> some stuff for it all right here we go air scream air pops pro and the stuff for it real minimal cardboard packaging we'll get that paraphernalia or that uh manual out of there in a second this is the pod hey i don't know feels pretty nice kind of feels like stainless steel i'm sure that's aluminum it's white and black real stormtroopery so obviously that's appealing to me looks like there's a button here on the side Ooh. The pod is magnetic and really precise in there. That feels nice. USB-C cable as well. It's a 700 ma, two mil capacity. Shout out one more time to Deep Cuts Eric Vinyl and Vapor for making my new favorite 12 milligram guava jelly. There will be a sticker on the bottom. There is a flat side round side to this O-ring press fit coil head. Just press fit right in. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like that everything's yellow and all the O-rings are yellow and everything's marked with a yellow because there's your fill hole, so you do have to take the pod out of the battery to fill it. Quick fill, no bubble dancing. I like that. Air scream, air scream, air scream, air scream. I'm assuming it's a five click. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it turns on. Nothing to adjust. Let's have a preliminary toot. That's off to a real strong start. I'm not going to lie. That airflow is tight, as tight as some that I've had recently. It is markedly tighter than uh, a lot of popular things like the Cali Burns. Much tighter than that. I'm just starting this review, so I'm going to keep using this. I'll meet you back up on top at a later date to hand out some banana stickers. It, it does make a sound. You do hear a little bit of a hum or something when it's firing. And the side fire button does not actually fire the device. It's just for turning it on and off. It relies solely on an air switch. Coronation star scream. All right, I'll catch up with you guys later. Doing uh, two updates in the same shirt, that's fine. I don't think anybody will notice. They're gonna be in two different videos, but I wanted to do a little update today for this air scream that I've been using. The quality of the vape from it is honestly really very stellar. The airflow, tight. This is a tight pod airflow. And again, I'm new to enjoying a tight pod, but this tight pod is very enjoyable, very flavorful, hair trigger. There has been maybe two or three occasions where I've been vaping this where I maybe let off of my draw a little bit and the, and the switch kind of like uh, sputtered out just like one or two times. For the most part, every time I take a drag on this, it fires, it activates. I really like the airflow. I really like that tight draw. I really like the hair trigger on this. The one thing that I don't like, and I don't know if this is a, a feature rather than a bug, this pod comes from the UK, and I don't know if they have different pod rules in the UK, but this pod and the other bottle pod that I got from this same Airscream company both do the same thing where it's like the gene chip. If you let this sit for like five minutes, it turns itself off. So when you pick it up to take a drag, nothing happens and you have to click one, two, three, four, five. The problem is I know that that's a feature of this. So literally every time I pick it up, it's like a gamble. Am I gonna take a drag and nothing's gonna happen and then I'm gonna have to turn it on? Or do I just hit this five times now to turn it on? But if it was already on, maybe hitting five times before you take a drag is gonna turn it off. It becomes this weird little mental game of being disappointed when you take a drag because it's off and also being disappointed taking a drag because it's off because you turned it off because you thought it was off to begin with. Is that making any sense at all? It's, it's weird. This is the first pod system that's like messed with me in my brain in like a, you know, Jacob's Ladder kind of way. But I mean, that is an undeniably good and enjoyable vape. So I'm not in this party here. We're going to keep this going. I want to keep using this pod 
for at least a little bit longer. It has shown literally no signs of slowing down at all, and I'm kind of impressed by that. So I'll meet you back here at a later date. We will finally hand out some banana stickers. It's been literally 12 days since the last little bit of video that you saw. I used the Airscream Pro and the Airscream Pro exclusively and only, like exclusively on my entire week-long spring break that I just had. I was using this every hour of every day and filling it and using it and filling it and using it. And there were multiple times where, you know, this needed to charge or something and I was like genuinely bummed that I couldn't use the air screen. Even looking at the other pods on my desk, I was like, I mean, the Doric's fine, the G2's fine, but really wanted to use that air screen. The vape from it is just stellar. The airflow is tight, but I don't know if I'd put it into the like stiff, tight category. It's certainly tight, but it's a little bit more medium to open tight, if that makes sense at all. Really very, very enjoyable to me. It almost, if it was a little bit more open, I think it would be damn near perfect. Like this is circling perfection in the airflow department. These coil heads, kind of unbelievable. The flavor, really very good, nice, dense, and rich. And this singular coil head has lasted me that whole time. And it shows no signs of slowing down. Mm. The whistle tip of this does kind of make it conducive to holding in your mouth. It's a little heavier than like the Weenax, but you can still do some nice hands-free action, which I really, really like. The pods will stay as clean as you keep them. They don't actively leak or seep juice out anywhere, but because of where this fills on the side, you're inevitably going to get maybe one or two drops around that you'll have to like wipe off and plug this back up, you know, after you're filling it, wipe it off. I like that when you put your pot in, you can actively see your battery life. Now the cutoff thing that was bothering me from before, it turns out that it's a one hour cutoff. If you set this down and don't use it for an hour, then it's going to turn itself off and you'll have to turn it back on. So keeping that in mind, you can kind of keep a little bit better track of it. It does still sometimes catch me off guard when I think, oh, it's been over an hour, I'll turn it on, but really it hadn't been over an hour, so I turned it off. And then when I used it, it didn't work, so I had to turn it back on again. I, I, I don't know, it's a small price to pay, in my opinion, for this good of a vape. Like, this is headed towards that like hall of fame kind of area right now. It's only available in the UK, unfortunately, at the moment, I believe. But the vape budget hands on it, the, the kit is 25 bucks and the kit doesn't get you much, but the spare coil heads, they're real cheap. It's like eight bucks for a two pack. I think it works out to about eight bucks for a two pack. And I've gotten 12, 13 days, going on 13 days on one coil head. So I, I don't know, so far, Look, it's gonna be hard not to give this a lot of banana stickers, but because of that turn off thing that I'm sure is a safety feature, but annoys the ever living crap out of me, if this didn't vape so good, that turn off feature would be a real huge bummer. As it stands, I think this is still going to land in the nine banana sticker territory. It it is that good. If I had a wish list for the Airscream Air Pops Pro, it would probably be if it could just be a little bit lighter weight. They packed like a 700 mile battery in here, so that's pretty nice, but it's a little bit weighty. If it was just, oh, a little bit more lightweight, this, this would be like pod of the year right here. It might be on its way to be pod of the, I, look, I don't wanna get ahead of myself and this is clearly the end of the video, so I'm gonna tell you that there's gonna be science in the description of a Grim Green video because when it comes to the science of vaping, we should definitely be listening to the scientists. I'll just tell you that no matter what's in your hand, as long as it's not a cigarette, yeah, let's keep on vaping. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh gonna smoke so small little thing that doesn't go anywhere small little thing for you